this video we're going to look at how we can compare data by scaling so this is where you have two different sets of data with different means and different standard deviations so it's very difficult to compare them because they're not it's not like for like so what you've got to do is change them such that they so they both have the same mean and they both have a standard deviation and then you can compare performances of somebody in each of the components okay so if you wish to compare two sets of data for example like examination marks and two papers you can scale one of the sets of data so that the two means are the same and the two standard deviations are the same and then on to this part this is the important bit if a set of variables x has a mean x bar and a standard deviation sigma x then if y is equal to ax plus b okay so this is the scaling formula uh, this thing here is our our scaling formula so that means to get to your new variable your new scaled variable you multiply your x by a and then you add b and if that is the case then that means uh, your mean of the original set x bar changes to the mean of your new set what are your new scaled set y bar by, doing, by multiplying a times the x bar plus b okay so if you just think about a set of values in a, in a class if you had 10 values in a class say and you take everyone's value and you add b to it whatever b would be maybe another five marks or whatever then the mean would go up by five so that's why you get the adding b part and if you take everybody's mark in the class and you multiply it by a then the mean is also going to get multiplied by a so that's why you get this formula okay remember what standard deviation is standard deviation really really simply is a measure of spread so if you take everybody's mark in a class and we'll just do say we've got one two three marks and you add five you add five to them they basically just shift up by five but they are just as spread out as they were before no more no less so if you add that's a five uh, if you add five to everyone's mark they just move up by five but they're just as spread out as they were before so adding something adding b for example does not do anything to the standard deviation okay let's take a look at the same three marks and if we have these three marks and then you multiply them by a number so let's say we're multiplying by two then they would become twice as spread out okay so that really is why when you multiply by a the standard deviation also when you multiply by a the standard deviation gets multiplied by a okay we're going to look at this in an example in this example it says for students on an electronics course the assessment consists of two components a written examination paper and a project the marks for the examination paper are disputed with a mean of 62 and a standard deviation of 16 for those of the project have a mean of 37 and a standard deviation of 6. so anna a student on the course scored 80 marks on the examination paper and 46 marks on our project uh, so we can't tell from this basically straight off about how, how is she has she done better it looks uh, to me that she's done a lot better in her uh, examination she's got 80 marks in it whereas she's only got 46 marks in the project but we haven't taken into consideration the difference in the means or the difference in the standard deviation so it's they're not a like for like comparison so we've got the in part a it says transform each of Anna's marks into a standardized score such that for each component the mean and standard deviation for all students on the course are 50 and 20 respectively and then part b it says hence compare Anna's relative performance in the two assessment components okay we'll just jump to this so the first thing we've got here is we write down what the standard uh, standardized value are so for the standardized values this, these are for both things are to be scaled uh, or both things are to be scaled so that they go to y bar is equal to equal the main is new main scale main is equal to 50 the scaled standard deviation is equal to 20. and for the examination we have got this for the examination we have got uh for the examination sorry we've got uh, x bar is equal to 62 and standard deviation is equal to 16. so this first formula here is our this first formula is our scaling formula so it's y is equal to ax plus b once we find this then we can plug in Anna's marks and then uh, convert them to the new scaled marks but we have a wee bit of work to do first of all so these pair of things are going to be linked and then that's very messy these pair of things are going to be linked here so the first thing we're going to do this is 
our y bar is equal to a x bar plus b and then you sub in your y bar is 50 and your x bar is 62 so you get 50 is equal to 62a plus b and you call that equation one you then look at your standard deviation uh, scaling formula so it is sx S, 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 Y, sorry, is equal to A, S, X. So they've called it, stamp. instead of using sigma as we had in the previous thing, they've called it S, absolutely fine. Um, so here, 20 is equal to A times 16, which means uh, A works out. So that's just A is equal to 20 divided by 16. That's where that comes from. So A is equal to 1.25. Okay, so you've got your A. Just like anything else, you sub your A back into your equation one, and then we'll get, uh, you get this formula. And then another wee bit of working out, you'll get your B. So rewrite your formula. You've now got your, your this is the original formula in here, this one. Uh, we're going to rewrite it. And uh, we can get your scaling, your transformation formula for the examination paper is this thing. So this is your transformation formula. It then says, for Anna, it says, when X is equal to 80, y is equal to 1.25 times 80 minus 27.5 which is 72.5 so anna's scaled mark in her examination is 72.5 okay same idea exactly the same thing for the project so for the project uh, where are we uh, if we have a look at it for the project your her the the mean for the project was 37 the standard deviation project for the project was six so the conversion formula absolutely no reason why you, why you can't just use y is equal to ax plus b again as you've already found your a and b but if you want if you don't like doing that using the same unknowns again uh then you you can change that to c plus d as they have done absolutely fine uh so we'll just work with what they've got so you've got y is equal to cx plus d and then if you do the means of that then that's y bar is equal to c times x bar plus d so just put in what you know remember the scaled mean was 50 the r mean for the project was 37 so 50 is equal to 37 c 50 is equal to 37 c plus d is your equation two and then the next bit this is your uh scaling formula for your standard deviation is sy so your standard deviation scaled standard deviation is equal to c times your sx which in this case is your standard deviation of your project so 20 is equal to 6 times c so again that's just c is equal to 20 divided by 6 which is c is equal to three and a third. Again, sub that back into equation two, and a wee bit of working out, you're gonna get your d is equal to minus 73 and a third. So the transformation formula for the project is this thing. So that's what we've got for your transformation formula. And then it just says when Anna's mark in the, in the project was 46. So when x is equal to 46, y is equal to, y is equal to and we've got three and a third times 46 minus 73 and a third do that on your calculator and you get 80. okay so anna's standardized mark in the project was 80. so i can't even remember what the other one was anna's standardized mark in the examination was 72.5 so relatively anna performed better in the project than in the examination so once those marks were scaled you can see she's actually done a lot better uh, not a lot better but she's done a bit better in the project Okay, questions you are ready to do are now exercise 1G. And the questions you want to do really here are just 1, 4, 6, and 8. And then exercise 1H, questions 1, 6, uh, 8, and 10. There are other examples there. Uh, there are other questions there as well if you want to have a look at them uh, with other answers, but those are the ones that we do need to get done.